Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a unique constraint on multiple columns in SQL Server. So open the SSMS and here I have a definition for unique constraint. Unique constraint, constraint in a SQL Server is created on a column or multiple columns to restrict the column or columns to accept only unique values. So that tells us uh, if a unique constraint is created on a column or multiple columns, uh, those columns will only accept uh, the unique values. Uh, you cannot uh, insert duplicate values. Uh, and the next part of that, only one uh, null value is allowed uh, in a column or uh, columns uh, on which uh, unique constraint is uh, created. Uh, so that part is a little confusing when it comes to two or three columns so in case where you have created a unique constraint on let's say f name and l name as together so how many null values can it accept so null comma null can it accept null comma null there are two nulls in uh, each one each column has one null value here then let's say if i have amir and null will it accept and we have null and amir will it accept because uh, the columns can only accept uh, one null value so for when it's a column or columns can accept only one null value that's this is the definition this is where it is true so as a set uh, if the both uh, columns or maybe three columns if you have three then there would be uh, three nulls and as a set of three or a set of two there would be that's the only one possibility it will accept uh, so if you will try to reinsert the null and null, it will not accept, but you can insert Amir and null because that's a unique value. And you can insert null and Amir, that's also unique. And then you can go ahead and insert John and null because this does not exist or does not match with any of the above. So with the single call a single column if you have created the unique constraint it will be let's say if it is first name you will have only one null and then you have uh, amir and john and all that so uh, but if uh, you have multiple columns uh, only one set of nulls is allowed but rest of the values can have null for sure but as long as uh, they are unique uh, from the above values uh. okay great so we learned this part we are going to experiment that now delete this and uh, create a table called customer and we have first name worker 50 we have a uh, last name that's worker 50 as well they can accept the null as you can see and we have a ssn that's a worker 11 now to create the constraint we have to say constraint and then provide the name of the constraint you, it's your choice if you will not provide the name and you can take this part out if you don't want to do it, it just say that unique and the first name and last name then SQL Server is going to give the name to the unique constraint. That's not really a good idea. Let's uh, do that and I will show you what is the problem. So if I will execute this one, it did create the unique constraint. Now to check the unique constraint, we can uh, use the system objects uh, from information schema maybe and table constraint. So if I run this query, it should return me the constraint name. Here is QC customer and the underscore uh, two four five seven and all that. So that's the name given by the uh, by the SQL Server to this constraint. I don't like this name. I want to have some name in convention. So maybe uh, UQ underscore schema underscore table and then uh, the columns on which the unique constraint is created. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this uh, table. Drop table DBO customer and then uh, create the constraint. Uh, by using a name so remember we had a here constraint and then the name the way you want in and then you will say unique and provide the columns so you see that we have first name and last name so we are creating the unique constraint on two columns so let's go ahead and create now it's done let's check the name now and we see that now it's the proper name that's great i like that uh, it really helps uh, sometime when we query your system objects to find them information such as give me all the unique constraints uh, okay so you always know that okay your unique constraints are going to start with the uq and uh, your check is constraints you start with the ck or chk or something like that that does help to prepare alter script sometime now let's insert the data 
now we are inserting data into the customer table first name last name and ssn and here you see the first name and last name i have inserted null and null and then i have ssn um, just any anything you want to insert doesn't matter and the next value is amir and null and then we have null and amir and then we have amir and shahzad and raza and null you see that there is only one complete set of two nulls so this uh, you cannot uh, insert uh, uh, this uh, uh, null and null together in the customer table again because uh, the both columns will can have only one unique set of nulls uh, but other values uh, one of them can be null and we are inserting that uh, let's go ahead and run it execute all the records are inserted start from dbo customer not designer sorry okay now if we run this one we can see that uh, this uh, is the unique uh, null we were talking as a whole uh, in uh, multiple columns you will have only one set of uh, nulls together then other values can uh, have null but they will be unique uh, now if i will go ahead and take this query insert query again and try to insert uh, these values it's going to throw us an error because only one uh, null is allowed so as we have multiple columns so as a set of two nulls uh, you know, is only allowed for first name and last name so we already have these values here so if we try to insert it again it's not gonna let us do it okay violation of unique key constraint uh, and this is a constraint name and cannot insert a duplicate key in the object dbo customer the values here this is the value you are trying to insert uh, now if i will take a uh, other value let's say if i will want to insert this value i'm going to copy and just to replace this part here we will get the same uh, error and you see that this is the value we are trying to insert uh, the value already does exist uh, that's uh, why uh, it is thrown as error and uh, you learn from here if uh, there are some columns uh, such as the first name and last name and you feel that as a business requirement uh, these columns should always have unique values uh, as a as a whole or as a together so you can create the unique constraint on two columns or maybe sometime even on three so depending on your requirement and uh, again there is only one set of nulls are accepted on multiple columns and uh, other columns can accept uh, uh, other uh, other values can have null uh, um, you know with a unique value so here we had amir and null uh, here we had null and amir and here we have raza and null so as long as these values are unique from the existing values you can insert them otherwise you cannot uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video